it's another rainy day but I've got another story no bot the robot with no bottom this looks like a funny story Bernard the robot loved to play at the park Wee! he swung high 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 up into the sky. Soon it was time to go. Bernard jumped off the swing and headed home. He'd only walked a little way when... My bottom! cried Bernard. It's disappeared! Where can it be? What's happened to his bottom? Yep, he's jumped off the swing and it's still attached to it. <laughs> Bernard went back to the park to look, but he couldn't see his bottom anywhere. Excuse me, monkey, he said. Have you seen my bottom? Hmm, said monkey. I think I might have. Bird is using it. Come and see. What's Bird using it as? A little nest for her chicks. Hello, Bird, said monkey. Have you still got Bernard's bottom? Oops! Bernard, was that your bottom? said Bird. It was too heavy to be a nest. So I gave it to Bear to use as his drum kit. Let's go and get it back. <laughs> Excuse me Bear, have you been drumming on my bottom? asked Bernard. Oops! Bernard, was that your bottom? said Bear. It made a funny noise so I couldn't use it. I don't know where it is now. Oh, said Bernard. Don't worry, your bottom's got to be somewhere, said his friend kindly. I wonder where it is. Oh, that's a bit sad. The book is broken. I have to fix this with some sellotape when we get back to school. Look, there it is, said Monkey. That's just Gary's hat, said Bernard. There, said Bird. That's just Edward's shopping basket, said Bernard. Isn't that it, said Bear. No, that's just Dog's window box. Bernard was sad. I'll never get my bottom back, he sobbed. Oh, look, he's even crying there, isn't he? He's really upset. <laughs> well, you would be upset too if you lost your bottom. Come and sit down, said his friends, and we'll think where to look next. I can't sit down, said Bernard. I haven't got a bottom. I'm not a robot. I'm a no-bot. And he walked away to carry on looking. After a while, he arrived at the beach. He looked out to sea and he saw something very familiar. There it was. he shouted, come back here, you've got my bottom. But the rabbits couldn't hear him. Bernard jumped and waved, but it was no good. Oh look, some cheeky rabbits have found, have found the bottom and they're using it as a boat. <laughs> then as he turned away, he spotted a strange shaped sandcastle. He had found his bottom. Oh, oh, okay, so the rabbits, that wasn't actually his bottom, that was an actual boat. Gosh, it's a good job he didn't get cross at them. That would have been a real big mistake. Oh, look. What are they using it for? It's a bucket, isn't it? They're using it as a bucket to make sandcastles. Bernard was so happy to have his bottom back he did a wiggling, jiggling dance, and so did all his friends. I wonder how it ended up at the beach, though. And Bernard never lost his bottom again. Is there anything wrong with this picture? He hasn't lost his bottom, or his leg, or his head. Look, <laughs> he's lost his arm now.
Maybe there'll be another story that's got Bernard with his missing arm. I like that book. That was really funny. Thanks for listening to it with me.